I'm Jen with Making the Photo, and today we're going to talk about making AI-generated images with Midjourney AI. If you've not run across Midjourney before, it is an AI bot that creates images from tech. Let me show you a few of my recent examples. My background here was created with AI, with uh, Midjourney, and I animated it with uh, Motion Lee, which is by some of the same developers. So I will get you on to Midjourney AI. It's actually quite quick. Five minutes, you're gonna be on making these images for yourself. So the very first thing we need to do is I need to share my screen with you. And we're gonna go to a browser new browser window and we're going to go to discord.com. Now Discord is a chat app and I don't, uh, I just discovered it as I was um, looking for uh, Midjourney AI myself. Uh, so, but you may have Discord already. If you don't have Discord already, the very first thing you're going to do is make yourself an account. Now Discord works as a uh, downloadable program you can download the app on your phone, or you can work in the browser. And today we're simply going to work in the browser. Okay. If you do not have an account, first thing to do is to follow the steps to make an account. I have an account, so I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to hit login. Okay, so once you're logged into Discord, this is your landing page. If you use Discord a lot, you might have a lot of friends in here. I only use it for Midjourney right now, so uh, I don't have a whole lot of friends in here. One thing that will be different between your account and mine is you may not have this app. This is Midjourney, the Midjourney server. And we're gonna add that now. Open up a new window in your browser, and we're gonna go to midjourney.com. This is the crazy business that is midjourney.com. It's a little confusing, but really all you need is this join the beta. If you're just uh, getting started, click join the beta. Up until recently, up until summer 2022, uh, Midjourney was by invite only. Uh, in the summer of 2022, they opened it for open beta testing, which means you can get on without an invite. So they just automatically give you an invite accept the invite and it's going to ask if it, it's okay to open in discord and click allow and continue to discord this is going to be back where we started from we're going to be back on your discord homepage, but this time you'll probably have that mid-journey icon click it yay now we're in the mid-journey server it was that simple you're now here this is where all the magic happens you may have a message uh, helping you through the first step of getting started on Midjourney. By all means, read that. There's a lot of good information in there. I'm going to get you started here in this video. First thing you want to notice are all of these chat rooms here. The ones you want right now, because you're new to Midjourney, you want one of the newbie rooms. It doesn't really matter. Just click one. Okay. And it opens up a room. Now, one thing you're going to notice is there are already AI generated pictures in here. Other people are currently working in these rooms. They're making images as we speak. I'm just scrolling through a few of them to see what people are creating right now. When you're ready to start creating, you're going to go down to this message bar here at the bottom. Click the uh, type the slash backslash key and the most frequently used commands show up. The one that you want is right at the top called imagine. 
So either type the word imagine or simply click on the command. It'll open a prompt window and this is where you type what you want to see. You're going to ask the bot to create an image for you and you're going to describe that image that you would like the bot to create. Now, just while we're doing this, I, I would like you to just look at what some other folks have been doing. That's one of the nice things about having this open uh, public forum is that you can see what other prompts people have used. This one's cute. So this person wants a big poodle covered in butterflies and little blue bows in front of a wall of white and yellow daisies. And that's what you're going to get with these prompts. Okay. Uh, you see some of them are very short with just a few words. And others, let's find one that's a little bit longer. This one's quite long. So this person has put quite a lengthy description of what um, they want to see. We're going to do this just a simple prompt today. We're going to do... Um, we want to see a cat in the hat. We want Dr. Seuss. We want it to be colorful. And we want it to be fantastical. So think about what you would like. You can use just one word. You can use a dozen words. When you're finished, click enter or return. Now, it looks as if your, your, your prompt has appeared. It hasn't. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see various images pop up. These are other people's images. As Midjourney AI renders these images, it puts them at the bottom of the chat. Okay? You just have to wait your turn. When it's your turn, Midjourney will render your images. But while you wait, you can take a look at what other people are creating and the words that they use to get the images that they got. As it works on your image, it will give you a percentage. Eventually, yours is going to show up at the bottom. They go by very quickly, so be on the lookout. If you lose it, your image is the one that has the orange line down the side. Okay, So yours will always be sort of highlighted uh, just a little bit uh, from other people's. Okay, so this is what I asked for. Cat in the hat, Dr. Seuss, colorful, fantastical. Mint Journey AI will always give me four images to choose from. In this grid, the images are numbered one, two, three, four. So one in the top left, two in the top right, three in the bottom left, four in the bottom right. Choose your favorite, and we're going to pull it out of the grid. Let me choose, I don't know, the first one. Okay. So if we like the first one the best, we are going to come down here and choose U1. U stands for upscale, and upscale is going to pull that image out of the grid and make it larger. So I click on that and it will make it purple. Now, again, it doesn't look like it did anything, but it but it is doing something. In the background, Midjourney AI is working. Scroll down to the bottom. And when it's your turn, your image will show up. Okay. So it's, you can see by this orange line, this is our job right here. It's 40% done. Let's go down to the bottom and wait. And there it is. There's our cat in the hat. Pulled out. Now, it's really easy to lose track of your images because everybody's working and some of these rooms are quite busy. So there'll be a lot of people working and a lot of images flying around. But Midjourney is collecting all of your images into one place for you. It'll make it very easy to find for you later. Click on this web icon here and say, yes, it's okay to leave this site. And it will open your image in a new browser window. 
Now you may only have one or two images, but I've been working on Midjourney AI for a while, and so I have quite a few images. They are all collected on this Midjourney uh, page. That's my Midjourney page. If I click Home, you're going to see some of the images I have created. I've created some other cats in the hats. I've created some other things, including this squirrel. Okay. So you can keep track of all of your images. And from here, click the three dots. You have some other options. And one of those options is to save your image. So it will save your image and you can upload it to social media. You can work on it more in Photoshop or Lightroom or another uh, processing program. Um, you can do whatever you want with it from here. So that's it. You're creating. Uh, Midjourney at this point in time gives you 25 free images on a trial. When you run out of free images, you have a couple of uh, subscription options. If you want to see those options, actually the easiest thing to do is to go to your profile on midjourney.com. Go down here, manage sub. So right now the basic plan gives you 200 or so images. You can do some incremental billing after that if you want a few more images. The standard membership is essentially unlimited. There's some, um, there's some caveats to that, but for the most part, you can use it to make as many images as you want. Okay. There is an enterprise plan for those of you who really want to create a lot of images. Uh, and this one actually has a privacy mode uh, built into it. So you don't have to create publicly if you don't want to. Um, but that's uh, that's a yearly, right now it's an annual plan. So that's it, that's all there is to it. Uh, make yourself a Discord account. Go to midjourney.com and join the beta. And from Discord, you can open the Midjourney bot and get started. I'd love to see what you create, especially like your first uh, image and see where your creativity leads you. Uh, we'll do a few more videos like this uh, on Midjourney and some of the AI uh, app creations. Uh, we'll work on some uh, prompts. We'll work on some other tools that uh, Midjourney has. Uh, but for now, this is Jen Mishra from Making the Photo. Let's go make something beautiful.